London has been cleansed. This catastrophe came about when an ancient malignant will crossed paths with mortal imprudence. For now, we are safe. For now, my craving for blood remains. Red like hate, red like hunger, red as life and death, passing from one immortal to another, from predator to victim patiently biding its time to rise again. London has been cleansed for now, but there's a simmering hatred, fear, and old grudges. When will we succumb, mortals and immortals alike? The next disaster is only a matter of time. My only hope now is to catch the woman I love, to understand why she fled and unmask the secret that has been lurking in her blood for so long. Well, this is it. Lady Ashbury's domain. Why am I not surprised it's not on any maps? I'd better hurry. Can't you just leave me alone? Your precious queen has been sent back to the bottomless pit from whence she came. The nightmare is almost over. I am here to say goodbye. The sun's warmth exhausts me. Soon I will rejoin my queen in her endless sleep. It is over. You did well. This is not over. I am here to find the true origin of the blood of hate. It is unwise to interfere with a tale rooted so deeply in the suffering of others. No. I must know why Elizabeth fled here when I discovered she was the original healthy carrier. No, she is not what you say she is. That is a secret you will discover soon enough. And you? Why are you here? Which new thread of which old twisted plan are you seeking to pull now? Tell me the truth. I am just here to salute my sons and to bid them fare thee well. Your sons? Plural? My god, will you ever stop speaking in riddles? Perhaps I am too old for your spoken language. Perhaps you now have so many subtle words, you no longer hear the simplest ones. Speak clearly then, and answer my last question. What is it? Did I defeat the epidemic? Now you've found the castle, Jonathan Reed. Only you can answer that. Farewell, my child. I shall dream about you soon. It's locked. The castle walls look decrepit. Maybe I can find a way to sneak in.
It's locked, all right. The Lady of the Manor isn't expecting visitors. Maybe it's just my imagination, but I think I smell Elizabeth's perfume. She must be here somewhere. This castle is falling apart. That sweet fragrance, Elizabeth's perfume. She was here, and recently. This painting looks suspicious. Sword and a moon are the symbols I should look for. What are these symbols? I can feel a mechanism, but it doesn't work. One last switch. switch and what are these symbols I can feel a mechanism but it doesn't work here's another switch I should keep looking one last switch
Voilà. Voilà. to be afraid of. Shall we abandon this then? Shall we lower our heads? No. Never. You taught me that. Blood is approaching. Old but young. How strange. Shall I drink it? Smite it? No, father. He is a friend. Please, rest. I'll take care of it. Caution, Elizabeth. Deceit runs through these veins. I know, father. What took you so long, Jonathan? Is this really him? Yes. This is William Marshall, first Earl of Pembroke, servant of five mortal kings, former regent and savior of England. The greatest knight who ever lived, according to some. And you called him father? For he gave me eternal life and much more. I have so many questions, Elizabeth. You always had questions, Dr. Reed. Now that I stand before you both, in this vault, I know not where to begin. We still have a few minutes left. I have destroyed the disaster, this creature that Harriet Jones had become. The epidemic is no more, and London will recover, in time. The city has suffered, but it will prevail in the end. A more cynical analysis would be that this is an acceptable catastrophe. I cannot bear knowing I was the cause of all this through the use of my own blood. No. This catastrophe was the result of unethical experimentation and the will of a creature so inexplicably evil she exceeds all the terrible wonders I have seen since my death. But it was my blood all along. My corrupted blood of hate. The poisoned blood of my father. A healthy carrier. That's all I am. William Marshall infected you. He is the true original carrier. Yes. But he saved me by sacrificing himself. Saved you? How? The tears of angels. The cleansing of impure blood by an older, more powerful blood. It worked on me, did it not? Yes. Blood is the definitive key to our species. Scowls, cleansing, lineage. Do you really think it worked? It has, Jonathan. I was nothing but a beast who took pleasure in slaughter. I roamed across Europe, reaping my bloody crop. It was the blood of hate. But my father's antidote cured me. You should have told me. No, Jonathan. The William Marshall myth lies at the heart of so many hostile plans. I could not risk jeopardizing his safety. So why did you come here? You knew I would follow you. I can't let you go. Because I know now the blood of hate is still in my veins. No one but I can put an end to this tragedy. I can help you. You can trust me, Elizabeth. No, I cannot. You chose to follow Ascalon's orders. You unleashed an immortal Aloysius Dawson into this already fragile and suffering city. Would your protege agree to speak with me? I have so many questions for him. Go on, Jonathan. But 
Be careful. Yes, Sir William. My God. You really are William Marshall. You served Richard the Lionheart and his brother, King John. It is such a privilege to meet you. I did in my day. Come closer if you want to speak. For my hearing isn't what it used to be. I think your hearing is fine, sir. What is it you want, then? The blood of hate. How does it affect you? Do you feel it now? The blood of hate? Yes. Nothing more than a sneeze, really. A sneeze held for so long, you could blow a fortress down if you released it. Do you remember Murden, your maker? Only God is my maker. For he created everything on this earth. He blessed me with eternal life through his archangel, Michael. But Murden, Michael, is a vampire. He made you a blood-sucking creature of the night. Blood, yes. I used to drink it from the throats of the unworthy. Then I was punished for my deceit. During my penance, I rely entirely upon my sweet Elizabeth. We could set you free, let you out. Isn't that what you want? I pray for the day I'll see the sky again. I have all but forgotten its colors. I could walk and do so many things beneath the stars. But I doubt it would be wise to release me. Then will you stay here and repent? Elizabeth told me it will not be long now. I cannot wait to feel the sweet caress of her hand on my cheek after so long as she releases me. Has the time come? Yes, Father. Why not unleash me then? To see the sky a final time. You already are the sky. And all its stars. I'm not defeated. For I welcome the sword you bear. For it is mine. You were never defeated, my lord. healthy carrier, as you put it. The flames will purify the poison that runs in my veins. No! I won't allow this to happen. I am death, Jonathan. Wherever I go, I can't stand it. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed, champion of Murden, chosen to save England from the vampire epidemic. I could cure you. What do you mean? We are creatures of blood, Elizabeth. Everything about us is in our blood. With time, I could perfect the antidote William Marshall gave you. Trust me, for time is on our side. <sighs> that is a risk I cannot take, Jonathan. I won't bring another such disaster into this world. Elizabeth, no. Trust me. How could I trust you, Jonathan? Have you not betrayed me? I had choices to make. I forgive you, and that is my choice. <sighs> Elizabeth, I love you. Then let me go now. Wait! No!
One prayer for the summoned called by this song. Child born from darkness whose path he must find. Now the song is sung and your path chosen. England is safe, but the cost was dire. Blood and tears, both parched by cleansing flames. You've lost your way, my champion bittersweet. I am moved to pity as I feel your rampant rage void of purpose or meaning. My queen sleeps once again, and I'll soon join her slumber. Until alas, she rises, woken by the hunger never fed.